You want one? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, this is like lunch for me, so I'm just having chips. Mm -hmm. One thing about me is one of my favorite things is bubbles. <laughs> Who invented bubbles, dude? Like, shout out to you. Oh, like how beautiful is this? Look at how magical. Look at these bubbles. Aren't they neat? Oh, wait, is that copyright? magical <laughs> okay and enough of the bubbles today we're gonna be talking about Halle Bailey let's get to this shall we my god look so this monkey's missing an eye the eyes on the ass cheek how did that happen <laughs> Halle Bailey she's gonna be portraying Ariel in Disney's live action coming out the 26th I think it's the 26th this movie has, of course, gotten a bunch of hype for different reasons. I think she's really going to assist in this whole mermaid fantasy that we might be seeing a lot of trends move in towards during the summer, uh, specifically trends for women. I think that a sort of a, a mermaid core is on the rise, and I think that it is because of The Little Mermaid that we are going to see that rise. I want to talk about Halle Bailey's red carpet looks for The Little Mermaid premieres. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on celebrities, especially, you know, the protagonist in movies and TV shows to really bring it to the red carpet. And I'm really curious as to the approaches that she took with her team. I've seen all of these looks already and I think what Hallie and her team are doing in pushing this aerial little mermaid ocean goddess as a woman reborn fantasy, I think that they're doing a really great job at it. So I wanted to go through some of her most recent looks. There's only four, so it's gonna be nice and sweet. So let's go to it. We're gonna be starting with the American Idol performance in front of Disneyland Resort in a Michael Fausto creation. Wow. If you haven't seen the video, she performed in front of the Disney castle at the Disneyland Resort. Just her voice accompanied with the visuals and just this dress that is being projected, you know, ocean waves and sea creatures onto it. It's fascinating. I like that the base of this dress is just a column and it has these ruffles coming around the back and also changing the silhouette and branching out at the bottom. It is very interesting. And I think this color is a beautiful shade on Hallie as well as really sells this fantasy of the Little Mermaid. I, I, I think the dress is a knockout of the park home run it's amazing and it's it's sort of a way that fashion can sort of assist a performance and make a performance iconic and i think this was iconic uh, up next we have hallie at the world premiere and she is wearing valdron sahidi now i have never heard of valdron sahidi but after doing a little bit of research fascinating very very fascinating and this dress ooh, this dress this dress looks like she literally is a waterbender and is suspending water over her body. The way that it shimmers and shines, it's metallic, it's beautiful. I, I personally kind of wish, the, the hem sort of just hits the floor and that's it. I wish it would have like puddled or like dripped off a little bit to literally look like she's wearing water. That would have been very interesting because with this bust line already being so fascinating and sculptural, I think the train could have been that too. But nonetheless, I think this is the strongest. And what a pick for the world premiere. She said, oh, I am Little Miss Mermaid. I'm going to wear water. Water. Agua. H2 double O. She did change into a jumpsuit later that night, which is more of a uh, sort of aquamarine, like teal sea foam. And she even posed next to uh, the original Ariel, Jodie Benson, which by the way, looks stunning in this like pale blue dress. I think it's beautiful. I love the embroidery on it. We had to talk about her because she is the OG voice. Up next is the Mexico City premiere, uh, Viva La Raza. And uh, she wears George's Chakra. I think it's called George's Chakra or Gorgeous, Gorgeous Chakra. This dress looks like it's sort of like in two pieces. One half of it seems very, very sheer. And then it's sort of like the, the other half of it wraps around to it. And then it that fabric, that, that sheer fabric, 
expands out, sort of creating this huge shape. The main fabric of the dress seems to be smocked, if I remember that's what it's called. It's sort of where you, you take flat fabric and by stitching in certain parts and sewing them together, you create repeating folds and pleats into the fabric. I'm wondering if that's what's done here. If not, cool fabric, where'd you get it? I would love it. And it's covered in pearls. And again, we have this sort of fantasy being illustrated to us of you know, she's she's not just going to be coming at you with blue dresses or teal green. She's going to come at you with pearls and a, a nod to the ocean and a nod to mermaids. And I think that's really, really impactful, really beautiful. Um, and then finally, we have this sort of scalloped inspired number, which is, who was it by? Miss Sohi, the same one that did that veil that she wore in the V Magazine cover shoot. This is such an interesting dress. You get closer, there's a sheer fabric that's coming up in pleats, sort of creating another illusion. The fabric actually, it, it's sheer panels, like super fucking sheer. And then the encrusting on that band, the encrusting all around these sort of panels, it's giving the scalloped uh, sort of floral but ocean. There's these scalloped panels along the hip and along the hem of this dress. It is beautiful. This truly gives me if Lil Miss Ariel at her wedding with Prince Eric. And I think that it's so interesting. And the headpiece is really, really interesting too. Wasn't it Swarovski? I'm pretty sure it was Swarovski. No one is saying, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a Swarovski headpiece, but it this, this look hits it out of the park. I think uh, she's definitely like best dressed at all of these premieres because she's really bringing it. And you know, rightfully so. She is the main character of this movie she's got to bring it to the red carpet the better she looks the better the, uh, the better she looks the more attention that comes to this movie and i think that it's fascinating i'm interested that she didn't even do like a green dress sort of alluding to ariel's tail there was no red dress alluding to her hair or purple alluding to the shells i like that she kept with the blue and white for most of the looks i think that mindset sort of really helps keep it really neutral because if you start bringing loud colors into it, it sort of separates the idea. It becomes super duper costumey. And I do know that she, there there are some looks, you know, in that blue, but staying in that blue keeps it ocean. And I think that that's really smart. And the white, you know, almost feeling bridal, but feeling very ethereal, very soft and demure, innocent. And I think that that's beautiful. I definitely think white and pearls when I think of mermaids and the ocean. So I, I think it's, it's stunning and props to whoever has been styling her at these red carpets because she's killing it. She's really killing it. She's doing it for me. Okay, so some final thoughts. Uh, what is my favorite look? For the red carpets, I'm going to say personally, her most recent at the London premiere is the best, the Miss Sohi dress. I think that it's the closest to being mermaid without screaming mermaid in your face. And I think that that's, there's, there's something interesting there. Something unique. Something, you know... They really thought, okay, how do we take the idea of a mermaid and modernize it for a red carpet? And I think that it's stunning. I feel like someone should wear it to their wedding. Ugh, imagine someone having like a like a mermaid or a little mermaid themed wedding and they wear that dress. Over. Over. Definitely think I'm going to be illustrating my favorite looks. So stay tuned for that. And I'm definitely going to be, actually, I might be illustrating all of her red carpet looks because there's only been three. I think I'll do that. <laughs> but uh, with that, I'm going to, I'm going to go. Uh, it's been real. It's been great. I hope that you uh, enjoyed looking at these looks with me. I think that Halle Bailey is doing some very beautiful stuff on the red carpet. Whoever's styling her and helping create this fantasy is doing it very, very well and is doing it without it being too costumey. It feels editorial. It feels referential. And the references are there and you understand them. I think it's truly fascinating. Uh, I'm excited to see the movie. I'm excited to see the clothing in the movie. I'm excited for the costuming. With that, I'm going to go. Take care. It's been real. It's been fun. Would you be a part of my world? <laughs> for this poor unfortunate soul. Oh, also flounder? <laughs> I forgot about flounder. <laughs>